Hello, I am Eric with Hidden Acres Puppies. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, today we are going to do a video of these little babies from Bayless Litter. And uh, we have them all here in our basket. And you can kind of see they're very active and want to get out and play right now. But we've got them here so you can meet them. Alex loves, this is my son Alex, by the way, in the video. My lovely wife is taking the video, so I guess you probably won't get to see her this video, but here we go. So these were born March 20. They're very playful right now. You want attention. Um, so they are spring babies, which is kind of cool. But uh, we had five girls and three boys in this litter, and uh, they're all extremely pretty. So you'll have lots of beautiful puppies in this litter to choose from. And uh, we'll go over them one by one, and you can meet them a little closer. So up first, uh, I'm just going to call them by their collar names because we, we haven't named them yet, and we'll call we'll identify their collar colors on the website as well so that when you go to choose you'll be able to easily identify them oh first we have red color girl so we're gonna do the girls first and uh, I know you're used to complaining <laughs> yeah. they're lots of fun so red color girl here she has a medium curly coat and a medium medium red and uh, she's she's got a Pretty curly face. Like if you're looking for the more the teddy bear look, she's definitely going to have that. Um, Personality-wise, she's pretty calm. Um, she's been sitting here um, enjoying me holding her. She's just she doesn't say have much to say. Um, I would say she's quite similar to her mother in that regard. Um, Bailey is a very sweet and calm uh, mama, uh, whereas the sire is a little bit more, a little more on fire. So. Hey puppy. Yeah, we'll get to you, big girl. So, red color girl has uh, mostly solid colors. Um, she has a little bit of white star on her head. And I don't, I think that's about it. Black nose, dark eyes. But she is also, she's a bit darker than some of them. So, um, if you want to want the darker red girls, this she's definitely gonna be the one for you. So there you go. Her coat's probably gonna be a medium, probably lighten up just a little bit. With the you can kind of see the white tips or the blonde tips on her on her otherwise red coat. Those will probably lighten up some bit. So there you go. This is red collar girl. All right. Up next we have. Mrs. Yellow Collar Girl, or Miss, Miss Yellow Collar, and she is a beautiful abstract, uh, what we call a, a red abstract. She's got the white blaze on her head, and she's got the white blaze across her chest, her tips of her paws, all four paws are white, and even the very tip of her tail has a little white speck. So, really striking colors. Um, she also has a little bit more of the uh, golden retriever coat, a little bit more straight. And what's probably what we expect to happen is once it grows out, it'll be a little bit more wavy than curly. So if you want a sharp looking dog that's red abstract, got lots of personality. She's very sweet, uh, very loving. She's uh, more adventurous than some. So. This one and this pink collar one, I'd say, are the most adventurous as far as just getting out, loving to play, new, new, uh, wanting to nose into things first. He's almost falling asleep, I do believe. So, but as soon as you pick them up, they're just like relaxed. She's just like, she loves to, loves to just be held and bond with her humans. She does pretty well. Um, she does pretty well in her belly, even. And uh, there you go. Size-wise, uh, I think she would be about middle of the pack. <clears throat> Excuse me, middle of the pack. And uh, she would, she's probably gonna be 22 to 25 pounds is what we're expecting. 
So there you go. Yellow collar girl. Look at that face. He is so gorgeous. All right, up next we have light purple collar girl. Right there. You see, she is pretty calm. She can be she can be pretty playful. She's kind of halfway between. So she's got a sense of adventure. Um, she looks very similar to yellow collar girl, but she's not does not quite have as much white markings. She's maybe yellow collar girl light. So yellow collar is too adventurous for you. This would be a good fit for you. She's coat coat. Um, she's very similar as yellow collar, but uh, maybe just a little bit lighter. Easy girl. Yes. Um, she's got a little bit more blonde in her coat, a little bit uh, more blonde tips, and that'll probably lighten up some uh, as she grows older. So she's kind of got, uh, and then she's got dark red ears and markings, and then two back feet, two white tips on her back feet. Her paws, her front is pretty much solid color, her front paws, and then she has a little blaze here, a little blaze there. There you go. Uh, she's, she's definitely smaller as well. So if you're looking for a little more of a pint-sized puppy, that's got a sweet, calm personality, this might be a good fit. There you go. Yay, good girl. Let's go. All right, so next up we have the smallest of the girls, and I think the feistiest. Uh, she's definitely got some spitfire. Uh, she, that's often that's interesting. I think when they're smaller, they're more condensed. Their personality is more condensed. It almost seems. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it. Um, but the, she is bright pink collar, and uh, she is the smallest. And look at that face. She is extremely cute. She's gonna have a really curly coat. Um, she's gonna be apricot. So if you like the apricot with the white star. She's going to be an extremely adorable puppy for you. She does have a dark nose, dark eyes. She is very loving. She is um, not too sure about being on her back, but she does pretty good. I like to do this just to test out their personality a little bit, because if they relax, they trust you. But sometimes, even though they trust you, they will still like try to write themselves and stuff and how quickly they give up is, is a good indicator of their personality so they have she she definitely she definitely has a little bit more spunk in her um, you'll you'll probably see that more as she gets older um, she gets uh, she's gonna have a little adventurous streak here probably a little bit more of an alpha doll so even though she's the smallest, that's it's funny how that works, but it seems like the smallest has to fight the hardest to get her share of food. So absolutely gorgeous. I just love this apricot coat. Um, love that face. She's got that teddy bear face. Absolutely adorable. Alright, up last of the girls, we have dark purple collar. She's got a really dark purple as compared to the other one who is light lighter purple um, she's very similar in color as yellow collar and uh, one of the other ones um, I think yeah light purple so she's very similar in color as far as her red coat she's kind of got a medium red coat <clears throat> sorry I got been uh, dealing with some sinus things so excuse my raspy voice uh, she's got a little bit of a, but, but she, she has the light kind of blonde tips. So again, they'll probably lighten up a little bit as she grows older. Um, she is definitely going to have a little bit more of the um, long wavy coat versus the, the thick um, or the, the really curly coat. So a little bit more of the golden retriever look, I do believe. So she is, I think, the calmest of the bunch. She is literally right now pretty much sleeping in my hands, just sitting here upright. So she is, she is like just, if you're looking for a super sweet dog that'll live with you and, and be your best friend for life, 
this is this is going to be the one this is she's going to be the one to cuddle up beside you and, and like just like right now she's completely relaxed she's not um she's not struggling in any way she's just soaking it in and probably if i do this for any length of time she would fall asleep so that's the kind of personality she has um definitely a quiet sweet personality uh, much like her mama if that's what you're looking for this one will be a good fit for you so there you go she's definitely got um uh, definitely got the calmness she's a, a medium in size probably 20 middle of the range as far as size um size range 22 pounds 25 pounds that's what i would expect from her there you go and she does have a really cute face she's got that short button nose she's got really cute they're all cute but who knows maybe i'm prejudiced all right up next we have the boys so we're going to uh, we have three boys in this litter and we'll just go through each one and you can meet them careful alex Careful. There you go. He loves Alex loves to play with the puppies. Unfortunately, sometimes the puppies fall out of his hands. And he uh, he's doing really good. You are, aren't you? <laughs> he loves puppies. Loves to hold them. He really does really good. He's uh, almost three years old, and um, he's he's very gentle. Sometimes he needs a little reminding to be gentle, but. Most of the time he is really good, aren't you? <laughs> All right, on with the boys. Uh, here's the boys. Uh, brown collar is up first. So he's got a brown collar. Um, I would say he's kind of middle of the road as far as color and personality. He's uh, kind of got the medium red with the apricot tips or the blonde tips. So he's kind of got white frost across his back with a darker undertone. Um, very unique and probably will lighten as his hair goes long. Um, you'll probably see that lighten up quite a bit. And then on his head, he's got this beautiful white blaze. I just love that about his litter. They have uh, had the beautiful white blaze. I love that. Um, they have also got a white chest. Um, this guy is very alert. I think right now they're a little bit sleepy. So they're, they're kind of settling down. Um, and so... But this guy is generally very alert. Look at him all, all scrunched up in my hand. Um, yeah, buddy. So, I, I'd see, but at the same time, like you can see, he he like he loves to just relax. So he's he's very uh, quiet and relaxed when you hold him, and he's very alert and he's very adventurous when he's just out by himself. So there you go. This is brown collar boy. Look at that face. He has got the most gorgeous teddy bear curly coat um, that you like the, just as much as any of, any of these others in this litter. So he's he's really got that. If you're looking for more of the poodle, the poodle is fluffy teddy bear look. This guy is going to be a wonderful addition to your family. All right, up next we have Mr. Black Collar Boy. I'll show that to you. How that looks. He is a little bit lighter, and he's way sm quite a significantly smaller. I think he is. Uh, we have one more that's maybe about the same size. He might be a little smaller, uh, but he's definitely one of the smallest in this litter. So he is a boy, and he is going to be a really quiet and chill guy from excuse me from the looks of things he's got that he's really got a thick uh, coat on the on his um, like his coat is already extremely thick and you can see it curl um, like around his face you can see those little curls start to form so once he grows out he's again he's gonna be super curly um, on his face and then it kind of transitions actually on his back it's gonna be curly but but more fine so instead of the thick tight curls it'll probably be more uh, long waves so that is uh he's got a really nice coat he's got the white blaze 
and let's see, buddy. He's naked boy. He's just a sweet little guy, ain't you? So he's got just a little bit right there. Um, feet, pretty much solid color, except for his back right paw. And there you go. So he's he's pretty much he, he is pretty much like he's very easy to handle. So he's he's just sweet. He just tolerates things. Loves to have attention. He would probably go to sleep right now if I would continue to continue doing this for any length of time. Okay, buddy. All right, you can go sleep now. All right, up last, definitely not least, well, in the size he is at least, he is the least. He is a dark blue collar, and he is dark, dark red. I, he, out of all these puppies, he's the one that really got his dad's desires really dark red color. Um, he is just a beautiful, deep, rust red. Beautiful. He's going to be a bit curly. Um, so his face, as you can see, you can see those curls start to form on his face, and uh, he is definitely going to be one handsome dude. One handsome dude, yeah. He's got, uh, he's very adventurous, um, he's got lots of life in him. Um, right now, they're, they are a little bit uh, quiet, a little bit more calm than or ordinary, um, so when you actually pick them up, they will probably have just a little bit more definitely more personality visible um, but yeah this guy he's absolutely gorgeous look at that face he's got the definitely got the teddy bear um, teddy bear nose uh, like the, the short nose and the fluffy face so if that's the look you're going for that this guy definitely will fit that bill he does have just a small white star right here and I do believe that's it yeah I had checked earlier. Yeah, he's not got. He's just, he's just a solid, beautiful dark red. And uh, like I said, he is the smallest. Um, I think uh, black collar might be kind of close to size. I'm gonna just compare him a little bit here. As you can see, I think that black collar is still slightly bigger than than uh, the red guy here, the blue collar guy here. So this guy is the smallest of this litter. So he'll be the smallest puppy, probably 20, 22 pounds. He might surprise us, um, but that's kind of that's kind of what we expect based on his current size. Look at that. You is one handsome little guy. Yeah. All right. So thanks a lot for watching. If you uh, have a deposit, this is the video that you can use to choose from. And we can also, if you have any more questions, you're not quite sure, we'd be glad to do like a video call with you. If you don't have a deposit, we do have several spots, uh, puppies still available. Um, they will be posted online on our website. Uh, check them out there, hiddenacrespuppies.com. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.